Hey guys, welcome back to this episode of Shoto Showdown. As always, I'm your host, Frozen Stratos, and this is the weekly news show that breaks down all the Shoto, Soto, and Yudo news that comes out each week. And then after that, we hop over to the Candy Toy Corner, where I highlight one of the oddities in my collection that I just want to show off and share it with you guys. Anyways, let's get started with the news. Alright, so for our first and sadly last update this week, don't worry, it's big, uh, on t January 27th, 2018, we got um, our standard look at the Soto Build Wave 5. Now, that, that wave is coming out currently in Japan, and generally they do, a, they do a hype post, and they don't really post anything new, except toward the end of it, we got something. And it's big like I said before. Uh, we got our first looks at some new uh, x aid Soto figures. That's right, uh, we got our first looks at Chambra Gamer Level X and then Genom's God Maximum Gamer Level Billion form. This is big, and well, this one's big, but like, this is huge. Uh, Soto hasn't really bled into each other. Um, too often. And actually, uh, if you'll remember, we kind of got teased about this form here uh, early on in the blog. I don't quite remember which one it was, but I just remember seeing this image. Uh, but again, these candy toy lines never usually bleed into each other, and you, you generally think that um, if it were to happen, it would happen like at the beginning of the line and it, it ties up some loose ends or maybe like a character that wasn't made. But no, these are these are one-off characters from the, and I quote, uh, Kamen Rider XA Trilogy, another ending, Kamen Rider Genmu vs. Laser. I, I don't know how you want to pronounce it, Genmu, Genum, whatever works. But uh, this is, this again, this is pretty big. Uh, we, we generally don't get these, uh, and that, that just shows the power and the fandom and the drive behind X-Aid. A lot of people seem to love it. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not necessarily one of those. I wish I liked it as much as everyone else, but um, again, I, I, can't, I can't like imagine how much support it must be getting in Japan to get these one-off figures from, from a spin-off movie you're going to have to buy yourself in, in the regular line. And uh, what I didn't, what I failed to mention earlier was that these are going to be retail releases. Um, this is going to be a part of Build Wave Eight. They're just uh, featuring Kamen Rider X Aid. This is this is so weird and new. Um, and I guess since this is sort of a budding line, kind of technically, a lot of more, a lot more eyes have been on it recently. But. Um, yeah, this is really unheard of, and I, I hope that bodes well for, for future releases. Um, you know, the, I thought that our first taste of this would be for the, the sort of legend riders. You know, you know how Bill, uh, generally, when he puts his belt on and does the legend rider thing, um, he turns directly into the riders, a la uh, decade style. He just turns into the riders with his belt. And I thought we might be getting like updated Shoto or Soto figures of those, but uh, we never did, uh, and they're making their own. And that's besides the point. This here, however, um, is something entirely new where we're getting something bleed into another show. So I, I wonder how they're going to handle this wave. Are they are they going to like cut in to Build Wave Eight? Are they going to expand Build Wave Eight, or like are we just going to see? Um, you know, fewer extras in Build Wave 8. Uh, only time will tell, but uh, I'm excited. I am <laughs> i don't know that I'm actually going to be keeping these figures, but I am excited for those of you that, that love x Uh Anyways, that is the last bit of news that we have this week. Um, and I know you guys don't really like sticking around for the Candy Toy Corner, so we're going to keep it short. Uh, I'm going to be taking a look at the, the custom I did for a Shoto Kamen Rider The Bee. Let's head over there. All right, and we're back at the Candy Toy Corner. And like I said, today we're going to be finishing up my look at uh, my custom uh, extra Kabuto Riders. Now, uh, let's see. Kamen Rider The Bee. 
This one turned out a lot better than uh, Gatak did, and that's because I learned a lot from Gatak. Now, you'll notice that he isn't exactly accurate because it's not it doesn't have the shoulder pads, but that's that's really fine by me. Uh, for the uninitiated, I used a um, Motion Revive the B and a standard Shoto Kamen Rider Kabuto. And then after that, I painted these Shoto parts uh, gold and even the chest here gold from the uh, Motion Revive figure because it didn't quite match and I wanted it all to match. Luckily, the head sort of matched. Now, again, there's this issue where the ball joint doesn't actually work and the head more acts as a swivel, but that's fine. Now, a major improvement over Gatak is that the chest is a lot more solid. If you remember uh, in the last video, Gatak was was jostly, it was, it was shaky. And that's largely due to the way I ripped out his insides. Let's, uh, let's take a look inside this guy to see what I did differently. Now, before I take him apart completely, I want to let you know that these threads on here still work. And that's because uh, I, was, I was a lot smarter uh, with this portion of my custom. I did both of them that day. But um, what I did was uh, I cut down these uh, ball joint uh, connectors here a lot more tight. And then I kept more of this peg here. Now, let's bring in Gatak's chest to take a look at the difference, and you'll see that I just chopped it off. Uh, I thought that it would get in the way, but certainly it didn't, and it creates a stronger, sturdier figure. If you're wanting to do this custom yourself, uh, definitely, definitely um, cut it down, but don't get rid of the part where... Uh, the screw can thread into. That's important to keep it sturdy. Now, I did the same thing from Gatak where I drilled a hole in the center, but this time I drilled it larger so that uh, there's more leeway for that screw. I just lost the screw. I'll find it in the break, but um, you know, make it easier for it to accept. Uh, and it, it led to a sturdier, stronger chest tor uh, torso, as you saw there. Now, another big change is the belt. Again, with with uh, Gatak here, I just snipped, or I, I lifted the Kabuto Zector and then snipped off the Motion Revive uh, plate and put it on here. Uh, be careful when you're doing this, because I accidentally warped it. Uh, I also had to shave it down a bit. It was it was hard, but not bad. Now another issue with the Motion Revive is that uh, the the Zector, the Zabi Zector, attached to this wrist portion. And if you'll notice on the uh, let's see, regular Motion Revive figures, they have that cuff portion attached to their hand, um, and that made things actually way easier for me because I just have to um, lift the Zector off and glue it here permanently. Now, originally you'd have to swap out the arm and keep using the same Zector, but here all I had to do was glue it down to one side and now it just keeps there for good. So that's, uh, you know, a, a big plus to the Shoto body. Uh, it loses a bit of articulation, but honestly that's fine for the solidity. The main reason, again, I wanted to make this change, oh hey, I found the screw. The main reason I wanted to make this change because was because, uh, I don't know if you know this, but if you have Motion Revive figures, these knee joints are all starting to snap on mine. It's not good. Generally in the wave that these two appeared in, uh, those are snapping first. I'd, I'd be very careful and consider, you know, either like, I don't, I don't know what you do to protect against it. It's happened a lot. It's happened multiple times. Honestly, Gatak was broken out of the box for the, the motion revives. But here, um, you know, this broke and I didn't really feel like fixing it. And these knees are really strong and really robust. So I will take the uh, missing articulation over the, you know, the uh, snapping of the joint. 
Uh, let's get him back into place and I'll give some of my final thoughts. Quick note, again, now, I said, I said that this hole was made bigger. It, it's also to accommodate, uh, accommodate this peg. And it fits right in, snugly, into the chest. Alright, let's, uh, let's get this guy all in order again. Alright, so my final thoughts, my sort of editor's notes for these guys. Um, honestly, to me, this was a very easy custom, and if you have the materials, if you have, you know, a Kabuto lying around from a wave, and you have these motion revive figures, this is easy to do. And a lot of those figures, well, a lot of mine, I might have had a bunk wave whenever I bought it, but a lot of mine are starting to deteriorate in the legs. So again, I'd recommend making this change. It's quite simple. Definitely start with the Zabi if you're going to do it. Um, and if you have any questions, hit me up on Twitter, at Frozen Stratos, or in the Discord in the uh, links down below. Because uh, if you're doing this, I really want to see what you guys are going to do. Um, and, but if you want to keep your motion revive figures for like archival purposes, because these are old and very rare... Um, and I, like, I really like playing with my toys, and this, this helps, um, aid the playability and, and longevity of these figures, because this, this is an absolute travesty, and I can't play with this figure anymore. I, I quickly, quickly made the change. Now, um, that being said, again, easy custom, I, I really encourage anyone who has these materials to make this happen. Uh, anyways, guys, uh... Thank you for sticking around uh, for this Candy Toy Corner. I know not many people did last time, but I appreciate it uh, nonetheless. Now, I want to show off what's going to be next on our list of Candy Toy Corner figures. Yes, that's right. These, these sort of oddities that I have customized and made myself. The explanation will be next week, so get excited. Uh, this guy has already shown up on my Twitter, so if you want to know more about him, head over there, check it out. Anyways, guys, let's head over to the outro. Alright guys, that just about does it for me. Thanks for enjoying the very next, no, the second episode of Shoto Showdown, and join us next week. Hopefully these go are going to be coming out again every Sunday. Uh, last week it came out late because there was a lot of news, but hey, uh, what can you do? Uh, I enjoyed doing this, and I'm glad that people are getting uh, some information from it. Uh, if you want to check it out, again, subscribe, like, comment, tell me what you thought about the news, tell me what you thought about the custom work that I've done, and hey, keep it juicy.